Hello, my beautiful friends, my name is Maria Khoreva and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I bet it's a little bit unusual for you to see me like this in stage makeup from the beginning of the video, but as you can see by the title of it, today I'm giving you a tutorial of my basic stage makeup. So stage makeup is a huge part of my life and I really enjoy doing it myself before the shows at the Mariinsky or at the other venues. And I feel like the stage makeup for a ballerina is, is, is very important and it's really, really means a lot, really plays a huge role in ballerina's appearance. So I'm really excited to share all of the steps that I do with you today. So let's dive in. Every performance, I start with my eyes already done like this because every day I do this sort of makeup with a little bit of wing with brown eyeliner and the mascara. And then I do the face makeup, but I just before the performance, I just remove the face makeup and leave this eye makeup as a base because, you know, the liner that I do in the morning every day is kind of a great guide for the stage makeup uh, that I do later. So I just draw on top of this and it, this way is much more comfortable for me. And also my, I'm a little bit shy to appear in front of you with bare face with totally bare face, so I just decided to leave my eyes like this for today. But anyway, so the first step for me is always moisturizing my lips. This is the famous Lucas Papau ointment, and uh, I just apply a thick layer of it for my lips not to get chopped when I'm doing my other makeup. So just... Like this. And then the next step, I always do my eyes before I do the face makeup because it's really annoying when you have to clean up the fallout from the eyeshadow. So, uh, and also the eyeshadow tend to last longer on the eyes and the face makeup tends to start creasing and stuff. So I always uh, like doing it the last. So first thing that I do for my eyes is I apply the concealer as my base for the eyeshadow. That uh, makes the eyeshadow stay longer and it's more uh, punchy and the color is more prominent if I do it like this. So this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. It's so heavy duty and I use it for, for quite a long time now. So I don't apply a lot of the concealer, otherwise um, the eyes become too blank and they become, if I don't have enough shadow in my eyes, I feel like they become smaller on stage. So I just become, oh, I just apply a little bit of this concealer on my, on both of my eyelids and then just blend it with my fingers, with my hands. Just like this, so that th we have something on the lids, a more even texture, just a little bit. All right, and then the next step is to fix this with the powder with the fixing powder. So I use like small brush and this is the Maybelline Face Studio setting powder, mattifying finishing powder, just any powder that you use. I'm not too picky about the powder. And this Maybelline one is working great for me. I think you don't really need very expensive powder for stage makeup anyway. So just fixing the concealer, creating the nice base for the shadow. And then I am taking the brush. This is by Manly Pro. It's my favorite, favorite brush for eyeshadow. And actually what I do, what I start doing is I use this Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in this dark color. I bought this bronzer for, you know, bronzing my face and body for roles such as Nikia and uh, Kitri and Paquita for roles that require more tan. And I actually enjoyed this bronzer so, so, so much for my eyeshadow. So usually for eyeshadow, for eye makeup, I really just only use like bronzer and brown and black eyeshadow. Sometimes I use something more grayish or more red, like um, deeper red color or something purplish. 
but it's not very often and usually I just end up using this bronzer and brown and black eyeshadow for my eye look on stage. So now we need to frame the eye and I just go into the bronzer and I just start, you know, using the liner that I have on as a guide. I start layering in the outer corner. And then I start placing the eyeshadow in the crease. So this doesn't have to be very precise for now because we're gonna draw a lot of other things on top afterwards. So just creating the shadow for the eyes to appear bigger. So like this, this is just the base. And then I take the smaller brush and I take the more brown eyeshadow. So this palette is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's, it's really, really used, tried and trusted. This is Elisa Edwards palette. I like, I mainly, mainly use, so this, these are all of the colors that we have in this palette, but I mainly use this brown and this black. Sometimes I would use something like this or something like, uh, where do we have this color? Or some colors like this. But again, this is similar to my bronzer. And yeah, so something purplish, something brown and a black for sure. Okay, so let's go into the brown eyeshadow now. And with the brown eyeshadow, I'm going to mimic the liner I have go over it and create a bigger bigger wing and really blend it outside the eye a little bit because we want to create a bigger eye appearance all the time on stage And I'm not afraid to go messy at this point because I will cover all of the imperfections with the foundation later on. So once I have this liner thing done, I will start going in this area, in this outer part, outer corner of the eye with Again, with some dark eyeshadow. Let's use something more red purpley today. With the same brush, just creating the depth. And of course, blending and blending and blending a lot. So now that I have this kind of done, I might apply something shinier on the inner part of my eye. Just some maybe golden stuff just for the light to be reflected, just using my finger. Like this. And then to make sure everything is nice and blended, using the same brush, just go over, over the edges. Like 
And then using the black eyeshadow, I will intensify the line, the liner part of the look that we have here, just intensifying the outer corner. Okay, somewhat like this. Just blending a little bit more. And maybe I will add a little bit more of this bronzer because this looks in the further mirror, this looks a little bit not too, not intense enough for the stage. All right, so that's one top of one eye done. Let me quickly finish the other. Okay, so that's two eyes, two eyeshadows for the eyes kind of done. So the thing with stage makeup is uh, it's great. Uh, you can do it not that even, not as even as you would do for normal life because no one would really see all of the little details that you did. Oh, actually, I think I forgot the shiny eyeshadow on the other eye. So <laughs> let, me, let me quickly finish this. Yes, yeah, so doing a makeup tutorial is really a new thing. Even though I watched many, many, many makeup tutorials on YouTube, doing one on my own <laughs> is a very <laughs> huge responsibility and uh, very new for me. So yeah, it's kind of a little bit nerve wracking. So what I do next is I do the eyeliner, the black eyeliner. This really helps for uh, the eyelashes that I do later, the fake eyelashes, because it makes the band seamless. So I just do the, the regular the regular black eyeliner, nothing fancy, black cat liner. Just starting from the inner corner of my eye and almost duplicating the brown liner that I had earlier duplicating that same thing with the black just to make it more intense it will not really be seen on stage because it will be covered by the fake eyelashes Okay, so that's kind of what I would do. So then there comes my least favorite part and this is the underline of the eyes. The line that goes right there and it's, it's very important to make them even and to make them suit the eye shape. So I'm going to attempt to do it. Now I'll use the brown shadow, the same brown shadow from the same palette and just a smaller, more detailed, more precise brush. So going under, I like doing this before I do my base because then I don't have to use as much concealer. Just on the bare under eyes here. Trying to find the right position. So for the stage makeup, you would want to go lower, lower, oops. of as low as your imagination allows you to go because it makes the eye bigger this line is the most important in my opinion for stage makeup 
especially if you're dancing in a bigger theater like Mariinsky, it's really important that your eyes don't disappear. Okay, somewhat like this. And then I'll just add a little bit of that purple that we have on the outer corner of our eyes as well to that line. So today I'm just doing a more basic stage makeup. But of course, for more character roles and for more different roles, sometimes I do things differently. But the basic scheme, basic order of the stuff I do stays the same. So you see how I try to elongate the line of my eye here with this underlining. And I did this, you know, going really outside of the line of my eye. So some things might not work today, but at least I'm trying to show you like the, the base the, the order of the things, how I do them when I do my stage makeup. Okay, so now the most stressful part is, of course, to repeat the same stuff, the same thing on the other eye, which doesn't always work great for me, but we will attempt. Because, you know, no person, almost, almost everyone's eyes left eye is different from the right eye and it's okay but you just you know sometimes you just want your makeup to look even and that's the stressful part i'm hoping that the studio lights here will make everything look even hopefully. I'm hoping that I don't end up editing this video and seeing how disastrous all looks. Everything looks. Hee hee! A little uneven, not a big deal. Make it a little bit longer on this eye. Okay, looking in the mirror. That looks fine for me. Now... So, that's kind of it. I don't do much for my brows for the stage makeup. I honestly just use the same brush I, for example, used for eyeshadow or the same... Um, just any brush, basically. And just add a little bit of color to my brows. So, just a little bit of brown, basically, brown eyeshadow, and just to make them a little bit more prominent. Again, the same eyeshadow. Because, you know, when traveling, when you're on tour, you don't want to bring a lot of makeup or in your purse, you don't want to bring a lot of stuff, but of course you don't want to bring a lot of makeup, so I kind of try to use universal products for everything for all of the steps. So just adding a tiniest bit. Not a lot. Okay, so somewhat like this. Okay, so now let's go into the face makeup. And for that, I'm gonna use the foundation first. So this is the newer Discover. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. 
It's been really great so far. I've been testing it for a couple of performances. So again, I'm using my hands to blend everything. I don't know, for me, it feels kind of much more convenient. So just applying a little bit in my hand here and then spreading with my fingers over my face and trying to, uh, starting to blend straight away, little by little. Just applying not a very thick layer, actually, because a very thick layer will start creasing and it will be because we are moving, we are dancing a lot on stage, we need our makeup to be flexible, so I will not apply a lot of the foundation. Um, because again, it's 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 far away. Um, the the people, the audience will not see a lot of imperfections anyway. So we just need to even the things out a little bit. So I don't apply a lot, a lot for it to hold better on my face. So I actually really like how flexible this foundation is and I really felt like it is a little bit self-refreshing. I tend to get a lot of creasing in this area because I'm smiling a lot on stage and this foundation doesn't crease as much, which is perfect for me. And it doesn't start crumbling after a few acts, which is also really nice. So it's kind of my recent favorite. So hopefully the color and camera matches all right with my neck but anyway if the color of the foundation doesn't really match i would bronze my neck of course so now that we are kind of done with the foundation with the blending of it i will go into the concealer the same elf one underneath both of my eyes in kind of this pattern so like brightening the the whole center of my face and this concealer dries up really really fast so you really need to work quick with it and you see how high coverage this concealer is it really just my circles my dark circles really disappear straight away so that's why I love it so much. And it also stays put really, really nicely, really, really for a long time. So that's another very big bonus. I need to work on the other side quickly because it will dry down and then it will not be able to move. Like this stuff locks down really nicely. And a little bit on my nose, blending, 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 blending. I need everything to look even. And around the sides of my nose as well. All right. And around my mouth. Everywhere that where there's a little bit of unevenness. Okay, done with that. Now we have to powder. And the recent step that I have been doing and enjoying how it works is uh, powdering with a smaller brush like this. So not uh, like the areas that tend to crease. I would powder with smaller brush like under eyes, for example. Really going over all of the creases, all of the potential creases anyway. And the nose for sure. You need to powder a lot for stage makeup, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Because you need to lock in that makeup that you just put on. And you're gonna sweat, you're gonna be moving a lot. So you really need to secure everything with the powder, with nice thick layer of powder. Powder, in my opinion, is the most important step for the stage makeup. Because otherwise, everything will just slide off of your face very quickly. Okay, so this area also really needs to be powdered. These creases really going into all of the nooks and crannies. 
and taking my time powdering. And then taking a bigger powder brush. This one is by Real Techniques. I have a lot of brushes by Real Techniques. And just going over my whole face with it. Generously, very, very generously. I'm sure you guys can see powder flying around. That's what you want for stage makeup. Kind of buffing it into your face. Okay, now let's go into giving face some structure. And for that, I use first, I go into this Physician's Formula bronzer. This is a lighter one. I start creating some structure into the hollows of my cheekbones. I'm just creating some shape here. I'm doing this silly face. <laughs> That's all right. I like going actually higher, a little bit higher, a little bit like straight underneath the cheekbones because I feel like it gives the face a very lifted, nice lifted look. And somehow it works better for my face shape. So just there. Also on the temples for it not to be like detached from from, you know, just two straight detached lines, like contouring the temples and of course, of course, of course, contouring the forehead. So now I have the hair uh, in a low bun, but usually I would have the hair in a higher bun. And for that, you for sure, for sure, for sure, need to contour the forehead for stage. So I just start layering. And of course, going into the hairline, that's very important. I don't wanna mess up my hair too much, but I guess we'll sacrifice the hair for the informational purposes of this video. So for a stage, you can really contour a lot, but it still has to be, you know, very blended. That's what I feel, at least. And then I blend, 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 and start blending the bronzer here as well. So that it looks a little bit more natural. With what's left in the brush, I will bronze underneath my nose. And just a little bit here. And on the sides, just a little bit. To give nose a little bit more of definition. My hair is becoming a mess. It's all right. So that would pretty much be my basic contouring for rolls, for softer rolls like Mushroom, Nutcracker, or Aurora and Sleeping Beauty. For some more heavy duty, more dramatic rolls, I would go into this um, NYX Taupe blush, uh, Sweet Cheeks blush in the shade Taupe. And I would use it to contour a little bit more, to carve my cheeks bone, cheekbones a little bit more. So just will show you with the same brush how this looks. And under nose as well. This will just give a little bit more definition. And always for me, it's always the key is blending and the forehead a little bit more. I like contouring the sides of my forehead. Okay, let me quickly redo my hair and I will be right back.
<laughs> this hand. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's how it looks when I do my makeup. Like, I, I like uh, swirling my brushes and uh, experimenting with color and stuff, so <laughs> apologize for it being ugly, but yeah, it's, it's the reality of life. Anyway, so now that we're done with contouring, let's go into the blush. I don't use blush for all of the roles, but for youthful roles like Aurora and Masha in Nightcracker, I would use a little bit of blush but not really that much on the center of my face because I don't want to look red. It um, more so on the outside of my face. Just to give a little bit of color and youthfulness. This is the Milani Baked Blush, I feel, in, in the color Dolce Pink, Baked Powder Blush. And also a little bit of blush, just to tie the look up, a little bit of blush on the tip of the nose. And just on the forehead a little bit, to just tie everything up. So it depends. I might add a little bit more blush, a little bit less, depends on my mood. But around that area anyway. All right. Now that we are done with the face makeup, I would usually set up with the setting spray. This one I really like. This is the Queen of Hungary Mist by Amaravica. Smells incredible. <laughs> Let me spritz really quickly. Oh, such great smell. Such fine mist. Everything that you want from a setting spray, really. Now let's go into the lips. Lips is the most creative part of my stage makeup. Because from different characters, the lip color will really vary. And as a base, I always use a lip liner that is kind of this color. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's this deeper rose color and I always use it as a base but then from this color I could go I'm lying to you not always if I need red lips I would use a uh, deep red liner of course for Kitri or for Paquita but for other roles this goes as a base and then from that I might make it brighter with layering some lipstick on top or make it more subtle with layering different colors on top so just lining, nothing fancy. I don't really like overlining, so doing what's comfortable. And then I'm filling in uh, all of my lips with the same color, with the same lip pencil. but not too intensely, just lightly. Kind of like this. And for today, I'm going to go into this Dior Leap Tattoo Longwear Color Tint, this one. And it's the color 761. So I'll apply it, show you how it looks. I like it because it's a little bit shiny, but it holds on the lips really nicely. So it has that shine that we'll love. And it is also long lasting. And then if I feel that it is a little bit too bright, I will go in with the clear lip brush, clean lip brush, and just blend it. Always for a stage I end up creating this concoction of all sorts of different lip colors. So for example, to this pink I can add a little bit of brighter red to make it less aggressive. So let's just add a little bit of red, why not? Add it even now. 
So this color, really nice for mixing. And adding a little bit. You see how this instantly kind of adds youth to, to the pink lip color, at least for me. I don't know why, but I never tend to find the, this like perfect, perfect stage lipstick. So I always um, end up customizing. Anyway, so I think that's our lip look for today. And now what's left is the most stressful and the most annoying for me part of the makeup, but the most needed, the fake eyelashes, of course. For me, I've probably glued them hundreds of times already on my eyes, but it's still big, big, big stress. I don't know, still to this day, because if they're uneven, if they don't want to stick, uh, it's, it's a nightmare, it's a disaster. And you know, like imagine the performance is getting closer, the hands start shaking, and you really want the eyelashes to stick um, nicer to your eyes. And if they don't, it's, it's really, amps up the nerves for me and also sometimes if you're feeling like you don't have enough time for some reason like you've tried your point shoes on stage for too long before starting to do your makeup or you just didn't count the time properly and uh, came to the theater a little bit too late and so uh, if the makeup or the mm, previous steps didn't really work I don't have enough time to glue my eyelashes and then it's a total, total, total complete stress. So these eyelashes, I use them almost all the time. I bought them in Washington DC when we were on tour there. I don't remember what brand they are, but they are really, really comfortable. I use the duo eyelash glue and I use the tweezers to glue them on. So let me try gluing them on evenly and I will be right back. Ta-da! So that's my fake eyelashes on. <laughs> Stress behind me and that basically concludes my makeup. Uh, that would be it for my basic stage makeup. So of course sometimes I would conceal this part of my brow and elongate the brow to make the eye line a little bit bigger and a little bit um, to have a little bit more space to play around with eyeshadow. Sometimes I will make this line more intense for a more dramatic look. Sometimes, as I already told you, I would contour more, I would put different lipstick. And of course, it all looks differently with different hairdos and different earrings and accessories. But uh, that's basically the order of things that I do. Hopefully that was a little bit useful and uh, interesting for you guys. Apologize for not being a professional makeup guru, but this field is really interesting for me. So maybe I would do some more tutorials in the future. I've always dreamed about doing makeup tutorials actually on this channel. So the dream came true finally. And yes, thanks so much for watching and leave all of your comments down below leave all of your opinions and suggestions subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this one and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it thank you so much guys love you all and we'll see you in the next videos bye bye